I'm here with another winner, Anne Marie Miro from Louisville, Kentucky. One of our Kentucky girls, a That's winner. Right. Well, congratulations. And Thank so you. I know this is a wonderful quilt and it's got lots of detail on it. So why don't you tell us, number one, why you made it? I made it for the Quilt Artists of Kentucky. We had a Mother Nature challenge, and this was my view of Mother Nature peeking in on the sea animals. Well, and I can just see a ton of different techniques. So, so tell us what you've done technique-wise. We have raw edit applique, uh, felting, hand felted. I have used uh, lace cutout, and I've also done a lot of 3D work down here. We've done antique buttons that look like coral, and I have taken some of the uh, fabrics that we have that have uh, sea, sea life on it and I've cut that out and strategically placed it in certain areas. The lionfish was also raw edged applique. Uh, we have done ribbon and that's the jellyfish. So I've just basically every class that I've ever taken over the last three years is in this quilt. So you got to use just all kinds of techniques. I have. And, and what wonderful dimension that gives your quilt. Thank you. So how long did it take you to put this all together? Approximately nine and a half months of working at it like a full-time job. Wow, so that was a long time, <laughs> it was. wasn't it? Yes, sometimes people don't spend that long to make a whole big quilt. No, they don't. I don't know, but it took me a long time to do, and I'm very, very happy with it and very proud of it. Well, and you did some really great cut work here, I did. too, I did. so that's really nice on here to give the dimension that you wanted. I do have a little funny story about my quilt. Um, I was having trouble getting good depth to the eyes and the sides, so a friend of mine is a really great painter, Betty, and I asked her to help me with the quilt, and I brought it over there, and she says, well, you got to put dark here, you got to put dark here, and after we were totally happy with the way it looked, I had it laying down on the floor and I'm going, God, that looks great, doesn't it? And she goes, yeah, and here comes her little Yorkie who peed on the middle of the quilt. So this quilt has actually gotten its first washing even though usually I don't wash my art quilts. The whole back of it is actually just raw edged applique, um, leftovers from what I didn't use on the front. Uh, I applied to the back and where it hangs in my house, it gets to, you get to see both views. Wonderful big turtle. It is. <laughs> I took a class from Nancy Prince and she inspired me to do a lot of this work here. Kathy McNeil is in this quilt, Esterita Austin, <laughs> I mean just a fabulous array of teachers that taught me over the last few years and this is what I was able to produce from. And so is this the first time you've entered an AQS show? This was actually, in, it did make it to Paducah, but oh, it is my it? first, it was, that was my first show that it got into was Paducah, really? my first time. and got into Paducah and then I just uh, entered it here in Daytona. And so now you're a winner. We expect to see more quilts from you. I will certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you Anne Marie, and we hope that you'll have a quilt in our next show. I will certainly try. Thank you.